Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the International We Love You Foundation. My name is John Cassis. Thank you for taking out the time to joining us for today's important webinar. If you're new to the International We Love You Foundation, we were founded in 2001 by our chairwoman, John Gil Ja, in South Korea. The purpose of the foundation is to help and spread a mother's love through various initiatives, be it health, education, social welfare, emergency relief, and even international aid. Today's webinar will be focusing on the issues that are happening in Northeast Philadelphia and how you can become part of the solution. I'll give you a hint. Part of that solution will happen this Sunday at 9 a.m. In order to help us understand what is happening in the area, we have a very dear and special guest with us today. That is State Representative Jared Solomon. State Representative Jared Solomon and the Wheel of You Foundation have been working together for some time now. Since 2016, when he first took office, we've come together to join in a partnership in order to serve the people in his district. Along with Senator Tartaglione, he presented to us the We Love You Foundation citation from the House of Representatives in the state of Pennsylvania. In order for you to see the kind of work we've been doing in the area, we prepared a short video. I hope you enjoy it. from Philadelphia. I am so happy to welcome you to my office right here in Northeast Philadelphia. Let me tell you about the importance of the We Love You Foundation right here in Northeast Philadelphia. When you're confronting a lot of challenges, challenges such as food security, homelessness, poverty, there's nothing you need more than great partners. And in the We Love You Foundation, I have the best partner that an elected official could possibly have. The We Love You Foundation provides critical services to my neighborhood, cleaning our streets, helping to revitalize our rec center, centers, shoveling snow in the dead of winter for our disabled and our seniors. And they all do it willingly and with a smile and with an upbeat personality. 
If I had more organizations like the We Love You Foundation in Philadelphia, in the Northeast, Northeast Philadelphia would be able to change and move forward in a matter of a few weeks. It is an honor to be able to have a partner like the We Love You Foundation and to work shoulder by shoulder with them to address the challenges that we face here in the Northeast. We love you! The We Love You Foundation has been an instrumental partner in the work of eradicating poverty and embracing a new direction for my community in Northeast Philadelphia. So thank you so much. Um, this was a street that we did before, previously, I think it was a year ago, and um, everyone said all together in unity that it was a lot cleaner this time than we did it. So it was really awesome to work together. Uh, we got a nice cool breeze, so it wasn't too hot, and um, we finished in good time. Now you can see why we can say Representative Solomon is a great friend of ours. Please join me in welcoming Pennsylvania State Representative Jared Solomon. John, thank you so much. What a pleasure it is to be here with you and uh, thank you to the We Love You Foundation. I love all of you. And I do for so many reasons, but in particular, what is so important to me is that you set the bar. You all at the We Love You Foundation are the gold standard in excellence for how you take care of a community, cherish a community, show love to a community, and do it in a deliberate and meaningful way. Everything that you do, everyone on this Zoom call, Everything that we do is a choice about what type of community we want. When you walk past a piece of trash, do you pick it up? Do you go inward or outward when you engage a neighbor and talk to them about the importance of taking care of your community? Every, everything we do can make a community better or can take a community in the wrong direction. I've been trying to embrace this ethic of demonstrating and modeling really positive behavior through a street cleaning program that we initiated that cleans our main business corridors twice a week through regular cleanups, through beautification efforts like our banner program and our storefront improvement program and the many infrastructure projects we have throughout our neighborhood. But let me tell you this, key to all of my work begins and ends with the We Love You Foundation. Because it's through your efforts, when you come out here, you say yes to my community, you say yes to the city of Philadelphia, you say yes to my community and the city that is Po a po it's sending a positive message for everyone in the neighborhood. It's not just about cleaner streets. It's about showing folks what it means to band together, stand shoulder to shoulder, and work as one to a better, cleaner, brighter future for Northeast Philadelphia. John, we love you, Foundation. I cannot thank you enough, and I hope to see every one of you out here on Sunday. Thank you. Representative, thank you for your kind words. It's always a pleasure working with you and people who are as passionate as you to serve their community. That's why through this partnership, we are continuing to serve the people in the 202nd district of Philadelphia. That's what this webinar is all about today, everyone. 
It's about how we can help in the Northeast Philadelphia region in the problems that they're having and how we can become part of a solution, not just this Sunday, but as a long-term solution for that community. So in order to make today's webinar just a bit more fun, we're gonna have random pop quizzes. Now I know when you hear the word pop quiz, you might get a little bit nervous, but don't worry. Everybody who participates, you automatically get 100. So let's see the first pop quiz question. The first question is, what does the word world, the acronym world stand for in the clean world movement of the We Love You Foundation? Now is it A, waste ozone recycling leadership and desertification, or B, water, oxygen, region, life, and descendants? It's a tie, 50-50. I told you you get 100 just for participating. So it's not that somebody was wrong, but half of you were right. The answer is B, water, oxygen, region, life, and descendants. So within the clean world movement today, we're gonna to be focusing on public areas and communities, how they're impacted by picking up trash. It's something as simple as a representative was speaking about and long-term goals and projects that can be initiated, not only through the Wheel of You Foundation, but through the community itself. Let me give you a second question. Now here's your second pop quiz, everybody ready? Again, no matter what you answer, you're gonna get 100. About how many documented vacant lots exist in the city of Philadelphia? Is it A, 10,000, B, 20,000, C, 40,000, or D, 60,000? Looking at the polls, you guys are very much attuned to what's happening in Philadelphia, and you're right. 55% of you were right. The answer is C, 40,000. Representative Solomon, can you talk to us a little bit about the gravity of the issue of these vacant lots and how it relates to keeping the streets clean? Absolutely, John. Thank you so much for that question. Think about what a vacant lot means, um, not only to the trash accumulation in a particular neighborhood, but the message it sends. When a senior walks by the vacant lot, how do they feel about their neighborhood after they've lived in that neighborhood for 20 or 30 years? When a young student walks by the school and sees that vacant lot, what do they think about the community that they're, when they're deciding on whether they're going to stay there and raise a family? And what does the young family think uh, about their neighborhood when they are constantly confronted with that vacant lot filled with trash and debris? Do they have a sense of pride in their neighborhood? How does that affect real estate values? I think that the, va the vacant lot is so much more than just the accumulation of trash. And what I hear, John, so much from neighbors in my community when talking about vacant lots is a feeling of helplessness. There might be one cleanup that uh, one, at one moment in time that cleans up that particular lot, but then in the, the weeks ahead, it's filled again with trash. So what we're looking at, and John, what the great work that we, the we Love You Foundation does is that sustained effort. It's showing that we can work together to clean up our vacant lots. And then as the community sees this effort, they then come and feel a sense of empowerment. So now that sense of helplessness is no more. They are feeling encouraged, empowered, emboldened to do more for their neighborhood. You're absolutely right. And just to add to that base of knowledge of not only the problem, but the solution that you have, I'd like to put things into perspective with this next question. What do you think is the relationship between cleaning and crime. Neighborhoods where vacant lots were cleaned experienced A, no change in crime, B, an increased crime rate of about 10%, C, a decreased crime rate by about 10%, or D, 
a decreased crime rate by about 30%. I think we have by far the most educated participants of any webinar. I didn't even know this answer until I prepared for today's webinar, but 75% of you are absolutely right. The crime rate decreased by about 30% just because vacant lots were cleaned. So as Representative Solomon pointed out, you may think that throwing a piece of paper on the floor has no relation at all to crime or property value or the value of a business being installed in a particular community, but that one piece of paper starts to accumulate with everybody else adding to the problem instead of doing what the We Love You Foundation is doing this Sunday with Representative Solomon, and that is being part of the solution. Studies show that urban decay and vacant areas enable crime and decrease economic growth in those cities. However, we, you and I, are able to flip these statistics around by cleaning up our environment. That's where the L and the D, life and descendants, fit into the clean world movement model. Representative, I have another question for you. A couple of years ago, you created a street cleaning program in which your office and the businesses in the area provided resources to support cleanup efforts within that 202nd district. Can you tell us a little bit about that program and the impact that it had on your community? John, uh, thank you for that question. And, and much like what the questions that you've been posing to the participants, when we started that street cleaning program among our, our main corridors, what I knew is before we got to larger ticket items, like placemaking properties and anchor properties that would create growth and development in my community, I knew that we needed to, at a very base level, get clean business corridors, clean streets in our neighborhood, because that would begin to improve the look and feel of our business corridor. So what I can tell you is this, when our corridor cleaners go out, and when they started going out, I was very deliberate in saying everyone needed to wear bright orange t-shirts because that was sending a message to our community. Something's changing here. We've never seen this, this type of cleaning in our neighborhood in decades. And what that did is it brought about pride in the community. And that led to more people getting engaged in our neighborhood. Trash cleanup, clean corridors has a ripple effect. And when all of you came out on Castor Avenue, you created that ripple effect because I got calls, texts, emails, people knocking on my office saying something's different about Northeast Philadelphia. Representative, thanks for continuing to educate us on this problem. And I'd like to add one more layer to this, just to put into scope for everyone how big this problem is and how many different areas of life it actually affects. Here's my second question, fourth question for the evening. Human rights and protecting the environment go hand in hand. True or false? I am never surprised by our Wheel of You volunteers. 100% of you answered correctly. I told you you were gonna get 100. Human rights and protecting the environment absolutely go hand in hand for the various reasons that the state representative has already explained. And understanding that our environment is not just a piece of trash on the floor, it's the community that has to live with it. Representative, I have just one more question for you. We know that you take a very hands-on approach to serving your community even working side by side with us at cleanup and rest restoration projects. You've been working alongside of the International Wheel of You Foundation for now four years. And I heard that you recently spent an entire day with one of the sanitation crews in Philadelphia. Tell us a little bit about that experience and what you learned. Well, uh, when I went out on the sanitation truck, I, look, here's why I did it, John. Um, we have a trash problem in the city. Um, almost an epidemic, uh, trash not being cleaned up. I come from uh, Army background. And so when I see an issue, 
I want to handle it. I want to handle it in a very hands-on approach. That's how I approach every issue. So I said, put me on a trash truck. We're going to go around. We're going to understand this problem. And we're going, I'm going to be part of the solution, taking trash from our neighborhood streets that have begun to pile up. I would say that what that did is, first of all, when folks see an elected official who is taking that action-oriented approach, that, that encourages others to do the same. And that was a big positive, I think, takeaway from that day. In addition, many lessons learned about other best practices that just by listening for five or 10 minutes to our sanitation workers, the team I was with, I came away with a much more nuanced ish, uh, understanding and appreciation of what our sanitation workers do and best practices for better delivery of trash removal services throughout Northeast Philadelphia. I must say that the one, one of the main takeaways as well that day is my wife told me, whatever you do, do not bring your clothes back into this house. And when I told one of the sanitation workers that, he said, my girlfriend tells me that every single day I leave the house. So it was a great day, great spirit, and um, it, it was a really good experience. Representative, this really exemplifies what the International Wheel of View Foundation does. Though we're an international organization that aid in so many global issues, we also like to be hands-on and, and interpersonal skills in order to be able to introduce the love of a mother to all our residents in our communities. In order for us to highlight this, we have a special guest, a surprise for everyone. It's a Wheel of You volunteer and a resident from the area that we're going to clean up this coming Sunday. Everyone, please join me in a big round of applause for Estrella Robles. We love you, Estrella. We love you. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I know that you're busy with a lot of things, but we appreciate the fact that you came to join us and give us just a first-hand knowledge of the area and your experiences with the foundation. Well, thank you so much for having me. Really happy to be here. Now, Estrella, how long have you been a resident of that area? And do you go to the local parks frequently? Uh, for my, for as so far, I've been a resident in the area for two years now. Um, as for the parks, as a resident, I don't really go much with my daughter um, because it doesn't feel the safest. Um, so pretty much to the local the trails that we go to that are nearby, those are the only places that we would go with my daughter and I. How old is your daughter? She's nine. Nine years old? Yes. Does she also get involved in community service in the area like you do? Yeah, she loves it. She loves you. We'd love to meet her. Is she with you? Yes, yeah, she is. And she is extra prepared, I see. <laughs> what is her name? Angelique. Angelique, nice to meet you. We love you too. We love you. <laughs> so you participate and you help mommy with the volunteer services in the area? Yes. And you Are you also looking forward to and going to join this Sunday at 9 a.m. to help? Yes. That kind of experience is something that she'll never be able to learn in school. That kind of hands-on approach and that community effort to take care of her surroundings, I think is really what's needed in every community. What do you think about the efforts that the Wheel of You Foundation is going to do this Sunday in your community, Estrella? It's really heart, uh, heartwarming, to be honest, is is something that it'll ease the mind as a parent, uh, seeing that the street, the, it'll, it'll be much cleaner and therefore making it much safer. Um, I feel like it's definitely gonna make a difference, um, especially in the, the, in the people that live there in the area. Um, it'll be something that is truly gonna change the lives of those that are living there. Well, thank you for your kind words and we hope to see both of you there this Sunday. State Representative Solomon, are there any closing words that you'd like to share with everyone who's joined? John, thank you. Uh, I just, um, you hear a little bit about 
the importance of this issue from Australia and her, her daughter, right, right there. Her daughter is, her daughter is what we're doing all, who we're doing all this for. We want her to feel safe in our community. We want mom to feel safe in our community. And it saddens me that right now, and I hear what you're saying, I really appreciate what you're saying, our rec centers, our parks are not safe places to come, to meet friends, to have experiences, and that's what they should be. Really good things should happen at our rec centers. Good things should bubble up. That's what they're about. That's what our public space is about. So we got to work together to make sure that you and your daughter every single day feel safe at our parks. And I hope we can do that because the, this effort is critical to sustaining and growing our community. Thank you for sharing that. And John, thank you so much. Thank you, Representative Solomon. What about Estrella and Angelique? Any words that you'd like to give all the audience who's watching in order to encourage them to join us this coming Sunday? Yes. So I just wanted to say that I'm really excited for this Sunday at nine. And I'm really excited to clean up the community and see people smile and make them happy. Yes, absolutely. It's gonna be in a, an experience that is gonna bring happiness to all of us. And I can't wait to join. Can't wait to get started. Can't wait to see you both and can't wait to see everybody else joining. When? This uh, Sunday, October 25th, what time? 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Yeah. We're going to be meeting at the lot on Cranford Street in Gillam Ave. So be ready, be prepared, and have a big smile on your face, like Angelique said, so that we know that you're a Real of You volunteer. Now, if you can't support in person, we understand. But you can always support the efforts, not only of this event, but of all the events that are happening within the state of Pennsylvania, across our country, and the global initiatives of the International We Love You Foundation. All you need to do is visit our website, www.weloveyou.usa.org. Now, before we let everyone go and visit our website, we all want to give you one parting message. Representative Solomon, Estrella, Angelique, you're ready for our signature goodbye? Ready. Ready on three. Do it. One, two, three. We love you. Yeah. Thank you everyone for joining. Have a good evening. See you Sunday.